Shalom brothers and sisters. So, before I slowly but surely get into all the latest news, because it is fast and furious convergence of prophetic things, just screaming rapture of church coming soon, um, let me just address a small incident that uh, occurred on my page yesterday. And normally I wouldn't, but I actually do want to touch on this one. So I posted the cartoon picture. Um, all I want is to hear, well done, my good and faithful servant, with a little cartoon picture of Jesus and the, the little girl. And I thought it was precious, and it really conveys what we all desire and hope for to when we get there. And surely enough, there's a comment that says, you don't know what Jesus looked like before you even post a picture of him. Now, A, it's not a picture of him, it's a cartoon. A cute cartoon at that thank you very much and B I do know what Jesus looks like uh, maybe one day I'll do a video testimony on that I have seen Jesus so I'm sorry if that shocks some of you but it is a fact um, and you know what if, if you have got time to really be stressed out about seeing a picture of Jesus at this stage and this lateness in the race, there's another problem you should be looking into. We should be focused on encouraging each other, giving each other hope. And that is the main thing that this channel does. This channel strives on orders from above and direction of the Holy Spirit to provide hope and strength to get everybody who's struggling across that finish line. And I'm going to keep doing that. And I'm going to keep posting pictures, beautiful artworks and things that just convey that message to all of you that hang in there. We're almost home. But uh, to address it from a legalistic point of view, the scripture that's usually used for this kind of thing is Exodus 20 verse 3 to 6. You shall have no other gods before me. This is called reading the Bible in context. You shall not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me, but showing mercy to thousands to those who love me and keep my commandments. He is speaking about idol worship, carved images, likenesses that they pray to. So yes, do we have that today in the world? Yes, we do. We see this very much predominantly in Catholic circles and places like that, very traditional churches with ancient roots that will actually have figures of Mary and Jesus and pray to them, have little shrines and bow down and worship and call on those figures or pray to a picture of Jesus. This is idolatry. God abhors this. He hates this. Desiring to have a picture of him or looking at pictures of him is not the same. You're still praying to the actual Savior. Do I have a problem with my daughter drawing a picture of me? I am flattered. That little stick figure that's daddy makes my heart melt. If she started speaking to that picture and demanding attention from it or that the picture reads her bedtime story and ignores me, that would be a problem. My feelings would change. But obviously that's not going to happen. She's drawing what she loves. And she's showing what she loves through her art. And she can give her thoughts and her visions in that picture that she's drawing. And that's the same for me with the art of very talented Christians and believers around the world that are drawing some of the most amazing prophetic art for us. They are showing how they feel. They're not praying to it. They're not worshipping it. I'm not putting it in a lounge in a little cove and addressing it. I speak to the King of Kings. We have a personal relationship that I seek to deepen every single day. And that is how it is with all of us. So again, to come back to that, I'm not offended that people feel this way. I'm sad that people have got the time to have an issue with something like that. When your issue should be drawing closer to Jesus and seeing what's going on in the world and focused on that. And if this was a page where we were venerating Mary or praying to a carved image, by all means. But other than that, 
bless you. Have a fantastic day. Shalom.